Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be showing you my top five safety tips and tricks on stealth camping in your car or in your Toyota Prius. Let's get to it. So for disclosure, this is not part of the top five tips that I'm gonna give you guys, but it's extremely important as well. So this one right here, uh, being prepared, safety kit, being prepared for emergencies is non-negotiable. So I always keep this with me in case of any type of emergencies. That way I can stay safe and feel secure. So I always have this with me. I put it underneath my um, tire. I took out the spare tire, by the way. So that's one thing in mind. So, but this one right here, safety kit, it's non-negotiable. Always have this with you. It can save lives and it can save your lives as well. Okay, so this is gonna be my tip number one. Where to park. Where I usually go for the past two years, living in my car, car camping and all of that, stealth camping to be exact. I have a few places that I usually park in. One of them is Planet Fitness, Walmart, Target, um, Lowe's or Home Depot, hospitals. My windshield cover just fell. Those are the things that I usually go for when sleeping at night. When you're parking in your car at night, make sure that the area is well lit and always have that sense when you park in this area, you're gonna feel safe. I'm usually parked where there's a lot of cars. There's a few cars, if not a few cars, when there's a well lit um, parking area. So tip number two is gonna be windshield covers. Now, as you can see from here, I have a limo tinted window in the back. You can see through the front, but in the back you can't see. That's one good way of having privacy inside your car. No one's gonna notice that I'm sleeping in here because of my window in the back. I have my bed set up back here. But I added more window covers just to, just to add more window privacy in my car. And when I mean by window covers, I meant this. Now, so as you guys can see, my car is totally black out. I just have a light that I have there. I just have a light that I'm using right now. That way you guys can see but when that light is off this car is totally blacked out no one can see from the outside i can't take a peek if i want to see people if someone is trying to mess with my car or anything like that this type of setup is really good for me because i like stealth camping now the reason for this type of setup is that I love being stealthy. Most of my work, I usually work on my computer most of the night. So during the night, I can just put all these window covers on and no one will see that I'm doing something in the car and no one will know that I'm living in my car because of the blackout windows, the blackout um, window covers that I have here, as well as it's basically a stealthy car camp that I built. These window covers, I built them out myself. You can purchase them online, but it costs around about $200 if you want them custom built. I built them myself. If you wanna, if you wanna know how I did it, you can leave down a comment down below and i'm more than happy to show you guys how i made these window covers it's really easy it doesn't take that much tools and you can do it even while living in your car now i want to show you guys what this car looks like from the outside so this is what it looks like from the outside looking in even at night you can't see inside the car even if you try to flash a flashlight through it and I have my car on the reflective. That way I can keep the car cool inside. And that's what it looks like with uh, my window covers on. Rain guards. Having a rain guard in your car 
also keeps away the condensation that's building in your car, especially when you're sleeping at night. It also lets in cool air come in, especially during the summertime. And these rain guards that I have is tinted as well. So they can't see, they can't see that this window is rolled down. So when you're rolling down your window, just roll it down just above that um, rain guard. That way you're still protected from the rain coming in and you still have airflow coming inside. These rain guards are great for stealth camping because it gives in airflow, removes condensation in your car as well as keep your car protected from the rain. It's really important to have that in your car. So tip number four is having a protection for yourself and for your vehicle, such as knife or pepper spray, anything like that. But for my example, I have a car key. Now I always keep this with me because whenever someone or something is acting fishy around my car i could always just press this alarm button right here and it, it will sound the whole car and it will notify people nearby they will take a look and hopefully it deteriorates someone from breaking into my car now thank god i'm thankful that it it hasn't happened to me yet and i hope that it doesn't happen to me or to anyone doing car camping experience but if something like this goes down, always have this protection. Always keep this in mind that you are well protected. Now, this hasn't happened to me because beforehand, the tip number one that I gave you guys is what's, what keeps me from being in danger. Always find a parking spot where you feel safe, where you're going to feel safe. If you think that that area is not safe to park in at all, don't do it. Just drive somewhere else. I know you're tired at night and I know you just want to doze off, get some sleep, but don't risk it. Just drive somewhere else. It's better to be safe than sorry. And that's what I've been doing. And he has kept me safe. I'm thankful that God has, you know, protected me throughout my camping experience, sleeping in my car. And just keep this alarm with you at all times. Keep it with you where it's reachable. And is it just me or when you're living inside your car? Like you, you become the car. You're sensitive to your car. Like you can feel like if someone is like leaning on your car, just a small knock on my car, I could like wake up like right away. So that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, safety tips, protection for yourself and for your vehicle. If you see that area and you see that you don't feel you don't feel safe, just drive away. Go somewhere else. Park somewhere else. Park somewhere where it's, you feel more safe. Okay, now my fifth and final tip is this is very important. Keep a low profile on your car. And when I mean keep a low profile, keep it simple. You don't want people seeing a sticker or anything that would say you went to this place or that place that gives away that people knows that you're a traveler that you you probably sleep in your car don't risk it for that keep your car um, as low profile as possible keep it simple and for me i have a prius it's simple it's a grandma's car no one will know that I sleep in this car because of all the window covers that I put in at night. I sleep around areas where I park around areas where I, I know that I feel safe. So just keep a low profile on your vehicle. So those are my five safety tips and tricks on how I stealth camp in my Prius. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you did find this video helpful, please leave a like. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will answer any questions that you guys have. And if you want me to do another type of video on car camping, stealth camping, any of those stuff, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. Peace.